So over here, we're gonna have to take off a couple screws. One here, one on this side. There's another one <coughs> in the center right here. And two in the center console. So let me take these off and then I'll show you guys the rest. From where we began, oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see and then remove the entire console once you have those five screws out. Uh, take the shifter knob off and make sure it's in neutral. Well, be careful when you pop it off though because there are these two little levers if you have. Uh, any of the, the newer NEs. You're gonna have to watch out for that. And also, another thing you need to watch out for there are these two little clips here for uh, your windows and whatnot. Yeah, once you take off the center console, you should see these two little windows, window switches, and you're gonna have to unplug these, and then you should be good to go. Once you do that, you should be left with a bunch of insulation along with the rubber boot. Now, if yours is torn, I would tell you to replace it because uh, car is small and gives off a lot of heat as is. You want to keep that down to a minimum, so take this off if you get the chance uh, and replace it. It's about $25 on Amazon. Now, to remove this, you're going to have to pull this locking washer bushing thing up. And that gets rid of that, and then afterwards, just unbolt four 10 millimeter screws. After you do that, you should be able to pull the boot up, and you're left with the shifter turret. Once you do that, you'll be left with three 10 millimeters uh, one here, one here, and then the other one on the other side. You can remove those. And then with some force, this should come off. If you look at it, the fluid's really, really gross. So if you have like a, an old water bottle that's empty and uh, like a soap thing, like the soap squishy, what's, what's this thing called? Whatever this is, or like a turkey baster or whatever, feel free to use that and uh, get rid of all this gunk. Just in case if anyone wanted to see what I was shifting with, this is actually disgusting. Yuck. Now, um, after sucking it out with uh, the little soap thing, I wiped it down with a neat little microfiber and got most of it out. Now, you'll see there's like another bushing under this wedge. You should be able to pull it out with your finger. Just like that. And this we will be reusing soon, so hold on to that. Alright, now we can start assembling everything. With the kit, you should have had this big brace thing, along with this smaller piece that goes inside of that. We take that out and place that on top of the original one, and it should push down like that. Now. The piece that we pulled out of there, the bushing that we pulled out of there, goes in here such that the little rib or opening, if this camera focuses, yeah, this little rib thing should be facing up. Okay, so place it in there. So it's facing up and to the back, just like that. Once you do that, you can place the other one in, the big brace that you got. In with the kit uh, right on top such that this lines up with that right there the little ridge should line up with that and the bolt holes should line up with the bolt holes and should be good to go before I forget now is a good time to fill it with a uh, new gear oil um, the car uses 75w 90 oil so about 90 to 100 millimeters of that, and you can get the readings based off of the markings on the side of the bottle. Once you fill it with like the nice milky goodness, uh, you can take the new shifter head and plop that on. You'll notice a bit of a problem. The little 
peg doesn't extend all the way into the bushing so you'll notice that there's like a allen head here uh, you can just set it to size and adjust it after unscrewing that little allen head um, it should come out a little bit farther afterwards take uh, the other bushing that they give you with the kit along with the metal bushing or metal uh, spacer thing washer place that sucker on this way Turns out I couldn't fit it with the metal bushing on, so I'm just gonna put the plastic piece in. Hopefully. After you put that on, you can just put the last piece on top, and then afterwards put on the extended bolts with uh, the washers that they give you. And then just reassemble the console just like before and you should be done. And when brotherhood come first, then the line will never be crossed. Established it on our own when that line had to be drawn. And that line is what we reach. So remember me when I'm gone. Remember me when I'm gone. How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you gonna be with me for the last one. Without you, my friend, and I'll tell you.